This afternoon, the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, who's deputising for the Prime Minister, said the lockdown across the UK will remain in place for now. So that was pretty much my everyday routine during this isolation stay home period. And it was all filmed on this, the DJI Osmo Action. What is good everyone and welcome back to another video. I just wanna apologize quickly before we start for the delay in videos. Usually I upload every Sunday, but a few things have happened during this past week or so and it has set me back a few days. Um, but we're back to normal, so that's all good. Don't know if you can tell, but I was actually blessed the other day with a fresh haircut, which felt so, so good. So a few weeks back, I actually upgraded from my GoPro Hero 6 to the DJI Osmo Action. And during that week, I basically had the chance to test this out, use it like I would a normal action camera. I took it out and about with me. I took it biking. I used it around the house, which was that cinematic clip you saw at the beginning. And let me tell you, this performed a lot better than I thought it would, which actually really surprised me to be honest, because all of my life I've been using the GoPro and I presume a majority of you watching have also only only been using GoPro. And then for me to go from a GoPro to the Osmo Action, I was quite scared, I was quite skeptical, thinking, am I gonna like it? Is it gonna be as good or easy to use as a GoPro? But let me tell you, this is a beast. This is not a paid advertisement video or anything like that. I just thought I'd give you guys a little review about why I think this is a great little action camera. Tell you guys a little bit about the features and also why I think it is worth investing in this action camera if you are gonna be using action cameras during your filmmaking or if you're a YouTuber or photographer or just wanna make cool videos, why I think this is a great, great little tool to have in your kit. So let's open up this camera and check it out. All right, first look at the Osmo Action. Comes with this really cool little black housing, which my last GoPro I bought actually didn't come with one of these, so that's pretty cool. What we've got in here, we've got charging cables. I'm guessing that's like a helmet mount. We can mount that to like a car. A spare batteries and another mount. Okay, and that is pretty much everything that comes in the box when you buy this camera. So first impressions of this camera after using it for a few days, just mounting it to random things like my bike helmet, my bike, things around the house. I wanted to give a very fair open honest opinion. By going around doing things that any normal person would do, such as riding a bike or making a smoothie, gave this camera a much more of a fair test, I would say. So starting off with the main thing that won me over about this camera is the dual screen. Whereas normally with a GoPro, you've only got one screen and then at the front, you've got your recording time, which is what I had on my one. But with this camera, you've actually got one big screen at the back and then you've got another screen at the front, which is amazing for framing. This front screen, in my opinion, is an absolute lifesaver. And a good example of this is when I was filming that opening sequence to this video, a lot of those angles that I filmed, I wouldn't have actually been able to see the framing of those if it wasn't for this front screen, such as when I was in the cupboard or in the dishwasher and I put it on top of the garden archways, like all of those shots, I wouldn't have actually been able to see the framing of those if it wasn't for this front screen because usually with a GoPro, I don't have a front screen, so I would have just had to estimate what it looked like and just hope for the best and had to keep retaking it. Whereas this, I didn't have to do that once and I could literally see the framing and then get the shot and then that's 
it. I didn't have to like play around with the framing loads of times because I didn't know what it looked like, especially having to look back at a GoPro and kind of having to like, you know, put your head around and trying to see it. It's just a nightmare. So in my opinion, this won me over basically. To switch screens is super simple. All you do is double tap on the back and it basically swaps it over to the front. And even from the front screen, you can still see your battery life. You can still see what settings you're recording in, your frame rate, things like that, which is just an absolute joy. And I do not have a clue how it's never been done before. Another thing that absolutely won me over for this camera is the new stabilization mode that DJI have included in this, which is called Rock Steady. I did do a little bit of research as to what the best settings were to use when actually using the Rock Steady feature in this camera. And it did say to use it at 2.7K at 30 FPS. So I did a little bit of a test when I went up mountain biking and I basically put the Osmo Action on my chest and I went down this run and I did the same run twice, one where I used the Rock Steady feature and one where I didn't use the Rock Steady feature. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Again, I was just absolutely blown away when I watched this back because that was literally no gimbal, no nothing like that. Just literally the Osmo action on my chest going down. I actually really bumpy little run on my mountain bike and to see how well the rock steady feature performed, just I was mind, but I was like, what the hell is this? How does it do that? Another thing that I did test out when out on my bike was the slow motion in this camera. This shoots in 1080 at 120 and it does 1080 at 240. So again, when I was out on my bike, I tested both of those frame rates and and here are the results. Let's talk about sharpness. How sharp is the image straight out of this camera? No adjustments or anything like that. I just filmed some very, very raw footage of my bike, of the dirt, just to get an idea about how sharp of a camera this actually is. Again, really super boring footage, nothing too special, but when I actually watched this back in my computer, I was really, really impressed by the amount of detail that this little camera picked up. And also sound, how well does this sound? Can you vlog with this? But I did another test when I was out on my bike just to see how it sounded straight out of the camera again, no audio, adjustments made to this whatsoever just simply me in the park there was a bit of background noise but i just wanted to give a little test to see how well this sounded what is good people and welcome back to another brand new video i'm currently in the middle of a mountain bike excursion i'm sweating it's super hot right now but just testing out the audio on the dji osmo action i have a little housing around it and a clamp but got no microphone attached got about a foot away from my face so hopefully it sounds good the battery life on the osmo action if you're recording in 4k 60 or 4k 30 with rocksteady on will last around 65 minutes whereas if you're recording in 1080p with no rock steady stabilization whatsoever you're looking at about 130 140 minutes of constant recording which is still pretty good but i would recommend maybe getting a spare battery just in case if you're doing a lot of filming with the action camera on that particular day maybe taking a spare battery with you will be a lot more helpful than just taking one another really cool thing about this camera is that it did come with two different mounts it came with like a concave mount which you could probably fix to like a helmet or something and it came with a flat mount but if you had a gopro in the past like i did and I had a bunch of different GoPro accessories, you can actually use those accessories with the Osmo Action because they actually haven't changed the thread in these little, I don't even know what they're called, like screws, if that makes sense. And they haven't actually changed the thread of that. So you can actually use all your previous GoPro accessories, if you have any, with the Osmo Action. Going a little bit off topic here, but for anyone that has a Osmo Action or a GoPro and wants to get a few accessories for it, I actually picked this up from Amazon a few weeks ago for about 20 pounds, I think, maybe even 15 pounds. And it comes with, Basically, I think about 18 different accessories in this little case here. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes with just a load of different accessories like head mounts, chest mounts, this underwater thing. I don't know why you'd want that, but it comes with it. Clamps, just loads of different things in this little briefcase, which you can actually use for your Osmo Action or Action Camera, which I thought was pretty cool. Hence why I'm sharing it with you guys. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'll leave the Amazon link down below because this is really, really sick. And it just saves you a dub ton of money from buying like loads of separate accessories, which may cost you like 50, 60 pounds, whereas you can buy them all in this little case right here. And lastly, I'm just gonna run through the interface with you guys, which I thought was a really, really smart layout. I 
really like the interface on this camera. If you swipe up, it will basically take you to the resolution menu where you can set 4K, 1080, things like that. And you can also access the rock steady feature from this menu. If you swipe to your right, it will take you to your auto and manual settings where you can actually set your ISO and shutter speed in manual mode. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can hit the auto. And then underneath that will be a little camera icon. If you hit that, it will basically take you to another menu where you can set your white balance and your own custom white balance, which I thought was really cool. And you can set your color mode. You've got normal and D-cine like. D-cine like is basically like a more flat pitch profile, which is what I use. And then underneath that, you've got D-warp mode, which basically means if you're shooting quite wide, if you put D-warp mode on, it will basically make the corners not look as fish-eyed, if that makes sense. So it will basically D-warp the corners to make it look a lot more flat. And then underneath that, you've got your format where you can set movie or MP4. Then if you swipe to the left, it will take you to your gallery where you can basically access all your previous recordings and photos and just watch them back. And then underneath that is another little camera icon. And if you hit that, it will basically take you to another menu where you can set it in photo mode, slow-mo mode, or time-lapse mode, whatever mode you really want. I think I said mode so many times there. How much is this going to cost? This actually costs about 250 pounds, which is around, I think, $320 if you're in the US. So it's not actually that bad for an action camera, whereas I think the GoPro Hero 8, I think, is a little bit more expensive, but for around 250 pounds for anyone who lives in the UK who's watching this, I don't think that is a bad price whatsoever for an action camera of this standard. But yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I tried to get as creative as possible when using the uh, Osmo Action during that opening sequence. If you guys do want to see a behind the scenes of how I shot that little opening sequence of the video, uh, let me know in the comment section below because I think it'll be really interesting to make a BTS video because this camera was in some really weird places. Like I think I put it in my toothpaste drawer. I put it on like the top of a wardrobe. Uh, yeah, if you guys do want to see a behind the scenes video of that, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do so. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, don't forget to leave a like, rate and subscribe if you are new and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Take care. Peace. This performed so well.